Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is the one and only Haven here, giving you a bit of an update about what's going on with the channel and where I've been this past week, because for those of you who aren't familiar, I haven't been on the channel for the past week because my computer's SSD took a shit. I've only had this thing for a few months, and yeah, the SSD already fucking took a shit, but luckily I, I took the opportunity to get the thing fixed up. I got some better RAM, got a new SSD. Computer should be running a whole lot better than it ever was before, should be better for streaming and gaming so overall it was worth it it was it was an absolutely massive hit to my wallet but overall i would say it was a, a worthwhile experience rain's coming down like hell right now i've got the house to myself and i figured i might as well just take the time to give you guys a bit of an update about what's going on and also <laughs> announce a new project that i've been working on which i think many of you have been interested in for a very long time you've probably heard me talk about it but i'm actually going to be putting together the very first von helton documentary now as you guys know von helton Elton has been doing his absolutely fucking insane antics on the internet for about, what, over a decade at this point? Fairly well documented by a number of people, but the only issue comes in in the fact that a lot of the archive channels that cover Von Helton, eventually they get taken down by YouTube because he says such crazy shit that there's no possible way that those can last long term. I'm, I'm sorry, like, I really appreciate all the people archiving Von, but I think that they all understand that their channels are not long for this world. YouTube can't tell the difference between the people trying to archive the horrendous things that they're saying so that we can use them as argumentation against those people and refute the shit they say in the future. YouTube can't tell the difference between that and the actual people saying those things. So I'm hoping that by going in detail and making a documentary style video that it'll be considered fair use enough by YouTube that I can discuss these crazy topics that people like Vaughn and J-Dubs have brought to the table over the years. But this documentary is primarily going to be one about Vaughn Helton. Sure, we'll cover a little bit of his friend here and there, but let's be honest, a lot of those people could have an entire documentary series of their own. I can't do this shit alone. I've been looking into Vaughn a lot, I talk about him way too fucking much to also tackle doing this documentary series all alone. Uh, I do want to be the primary person who curates it and takes care of getting all the research together. First, we're gonna have to decide how many parts there's gonna be roughly. I at least want to have a rough idea of how many parts I'm going to be covering in this whole documentary series, so that way we can kind of break each part up into like a certain time period in Von Helton's life. It doesn't have to be broken up all evenly because I know that there's way more sparse information compared to all the much more documented crazy stuff we have of him doing in recent years now that a lot more people have covered him. I'm gonna really need some help from the people and the trolls, haters and naysayers, and really anyone who's been a critic of Vaughn, whether it's been for three years or 13 years. I want to know what you guys have to say. I want you guys to leave comments down below if you have any places where you think I can start looking for information. Uh, a, a lot of people have suggested Encyclopedia Dramatica. Now, just by its nature, it doesn't really cite information, so it's kind of difficult for me to use that, because, you know, like, literally anyone can just go on there and write whatever the fuck they want. That, that's the entire purpose of it. I, I might try and, like, go on there. I know that there's some information on there that a lot of people corroborate, and there's probably some stuff on there that is actually made up bullshit, though, honestly, how much of it can really be made up? Because what can you make up about someone like Von Helton, in all seriousness? Like, nothing that you could possibly make up about the guy could be worse than the stuff that he's actually done in his real life. But 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 I digress. So I, I do really want you guys' help with doing the research for that. So yes, if you are very familiar with the history of Von Helton, feel free to shoot me a message on Discord, DM me somewhere. You can even leave a comment with your email if you want. You guys can give me some contact information. You know, help me help you to help me. You know what I'm talking about? I really do want to make this, you know, collaborative effort. And I know that there's already some people, like some of the biggest Von Helton archive channels, I've already reached out to them and they're like, yeah, we'll totally fucking help you out. A lot of people seem to be of the same consensus of just like, well, what the fuck are we gonna do, like, when it comes to where we're gonna start this shit? Because there's there's so many ways that you could go about this documentary, and I really do want your guys' advice and feedback on how I can make it the best it can be, because it means a lot to me that I put out content that's really good. And speaking of that, we can kind of transition into the next thing I wanted to talk about, which is just a brief update on the channel. Um, you guys have probably noticed that the playlists have been updated lately. I stopped organizing it via, like, Under the Influence and Under Haven Podcast. Basically, the three categories I have left are commentaries, live streams, and side quests. I feel like having just three playlists that are actively updated on a regular basis and are, you know, more so things that I can contribute to easier. I feel like this change was sort of necessary because me having to tackle basically five different shows on the channel was just not going to be something that I could ever do. Sure, I have a lot of help from people like Jamie and Tav. I'm really happy to have them on the channel and help me co-host occasionally. And there's a bunch of other awesome guests that we have too and just people 
the live chat who help out. There's a bunch of people who help out with this channel. But when it comes to making the content and curating the content, making thumbnails and all the stuff that's involved in, there's no way that I could possibly do like five shows as one person. But you know what I am confident in doing? I'm pretty confident that I can get out a couple commentaries each month at least and do do live streams on a regular basis. I'm, I pretty much plan to live stream every single day that I can. Under the influence and the Underhaven podcast being separate. I, I, for a long time, I've kind of felt like there was no separation of that. I eventually tried to transition a little bit by kind of going with the idea that, okay, we can just do Under the Influence as a call-in show. Doing a weekly call-in show, sometimes there's just not like a riveting topic to, to put out there and like have people call in about. So I'm going to start doing the call-in thing as a regular segment that we do on our live streams. That's basically all it's going to be in the future. It is the Underhaven podcast for all intents and purposes, but I just decided to rename the playlist so that it's a lot clearer what that content is in, you know, context of the rest of the channel. I've got my highly edited videos, my commentaries, which have a lot of work put in them. I've got my live streams, which are, you know, I do my research, but it's, it's a lot easier content. Just having some fun, me and another person usually. And I've also got the side quests, which is probably the least, you know, straightforward one. But the whole point of side quests is that I want to start going around whenever I go on, like, you know, make guest appearances on other people's streams. If I have a really good, like, moment on there, if we have a really good segment that really just works to, you know, the combination of me and that other creator, I'm going to ask them if I could basically clip up a small segment of that stream for that creator. I've, you guys have seen me do this a couple times before. I've done it for the Geek Room. I've done it for Three Buck Theater when I made guest appearances on there. And uh, I want to do more of that in the future. I really do because I feel like it serves two purposes. Not only does it allow me to, you know, put some content out on the channel, you know, not have to invest any more time in really recording anything. I get to not only go out and help another friend of mine by joining them on their stream, but also make a bit of content for my channel that way. But also I get to promote that person's channel and not in just a way where I can be like, oh, I, you know, I point at this person's channel. I'm like, go check this out. Because honestly, how many times do you guys go and check out someone's channel just because someone suggests that you do it? Maybe every once in a while I do if I hear that from someone whose opinion I really value, who I think has similar taste to me. But overall, I feel like a lot of people are just like, yeah, I'm not going to check that shit out. But if I actually show you something on my channel as an upload, like a, a really good example of that person's work that also involves me. So in a way you guys are comfortable with, you know, you guys have some familiarity is the way I should put it. That's basically the best way that I can think about possibly promoting someone. So it's a way to, you know, grow the channel and promote other people when I go make guest appearances on their channels. I'll always ask for permission first, but I really do think it is a good idea. So yeah, commentaries, live streams, and uh, side quests. That's the future of the channel. I hope you guys are looking forward to all the content that I'm going to be making. It is super amazing to be back. I, it feels great, honestly, just having the computer running better than ever and being able to do more, being capable of just getting you guys more content quicker. If you guys really do want to go the extra mile, send in a donation. I know times are rough. You guys can just share this shit out and drop a like. It really does help a lot. That shit's down below, but even if you just enjoyed this video, I really do appreciate you guys. And as always, guys, stay toasty.